100 meters. The two fancied runners drawn alongside each other, one and two. And they sent on their way from the 1200. And by here, one of the first to go. Vuya Var is also right there with the pink cap. On the left is Mr. Roy. They are followed further back by Autumn Encore. Then comes Royal Armour, Rebo's Rebel. Then comes Bankard on the right-hand side, the Green Silks of Red Soldier. Royal Armour is now about three or four lengths off the leader and lectured in the yellows out the back of the field. Not much to choose between those first four. Vuava is just about the leader. The blue cap of Bahia, Mr. Roy, is on the left-hand side. And the rider almost came down on Rebo's Rebel. They were followed further back by Bankard on the right-hand side, then Royal Armour. They're getting to the last 400, and Bahia's the one to get to, though. And it's Bahia who goes on, and Mr. Roy's going to try and put on the pressure. Vuya towards the outside. Bahia goes clear by a length and a half, and Vuya is now trying to make a race of it. Bahia's still being kept together. Royal Armour's running on from behind, and further back is Bankard. But Bahia hit the front at the 200-meter marker and is going to win it. And Bahia is going on to score. Looked extremely well on the way to the start. And Bahia wins by two and a half to three. Vuya second. Third place, Lecture D, and then Mr. Roy. So, number two, by here, the Australian son of Galileo. I must say, on the way to the start, he strode out so well. He looked the pick of the striders that went down, and Bahia wins it well. The son of Galileo, and showed pace from the word go for Anthony Del Pesce and Mike Tukak, and they win it well. There's going to be the seal of approval. Look at that long seal of approval for Anthony Del Pesce, and ends up the toad favorite at two rand a win. Second placing, if we run it across, goes to Vueva. Showed pace from the word go. Won't be long in winning. Third position, Lecture D stays on for that. Third position came from the tail. And then came Mr. Roy. Obviously very green. You could see when going into the stall. So that will come on with the outing. Royal Armour, another one that's going to show improvement over more ground. So yes, Bahia still being kept together. Stick in the right hand. And he gets a reminder or two. And he stretches out really well. And Vuya with the pink cap second. Lecture D will take third. Mr. Roy, Royal Armour. That's the running of the second race. A time of 72,23 until the running of our third race. And the third race starts off our carryover pick six back to the studio. Impressive son of Galileo, number two, Bahir. The Australian son of Galileo, Bahir, has put up a most promising introduction into the game. He's led just about start to finish. Lovely looking individual, Nathan. Yeah, he's a nice, nice, small, neat, put together little horse, but yeah, great win. Um, just well done to Shake and thanks to Anthony. Looks quite a pro progressive horse after this. Well, look, you know, they've never been here, so I'm sure he will improve a bit after this and also maybe a bit more ground too later on. Um, yeah, just well done to the whole team to back it up. Runners coming up, Master Spirit, Motor Man. Master Spirit, yeah, yeah I think he's a big runner. Um, Motor Man, he's just come from Joburg yesterday. He, he looks like in the right race. And then I've got Chamelee in, in, in the last. Happy to get the victory under the belt. Yeah, great. And also Sam Hahn I've got in the seventh. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Nathan Codson. Let's get Anthony Del Pesh into the picture. He looks quite smart when he came out the gates. Yeah, I think he's a little, little professional, this horse. And I mean, the way he went down to the gates, he gave me a lot of confidence. And like he really knew what, what was there to be done, you know. And he came out very smart. And even the whole way in the race, he never moved the inside rail. He just stayed there. Yeah, I think he's a, he's a smart little horse. He's not much to look at, but I think he's got a little bit of guts on I like the way he perked up in the ring. He was just lobbing around. When you jumped aboard him and he went down to the gates, you could see his ears were pricked and he looked quite flashy. Yeah, he's that kind of a horse in the morning. He, anyone can ride him. He's so laid back and he takes everything in. And yeah, he's a, he's a real little professional. And uh, he's shown us nice work at home. And, uh, you know, he, he was ready today to win. A horse like Master Spirit, if he takes to the condition, should be the right one? Yeah, he's, he's doing very well at home. And uh, we're expecting a big run from him. Congratulations. Thanks very much. And to my sponsor, Aventure, thank you. There we have it. Well done to Anthony Del Pesh, the Mike de Kock outfit. Number two, Bahir, the son of Galileo, has come through to win a good contest. 
I think Pencil in the second, third, fourth and fifth horses, they're going to be horses to follow in their next outing.